Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. This is episode 12, where last time we made it through the Irithyll dungeon after defeating Pontiff Sullivan, and we are now here in the profaned capital. So I'm very excited to see uh, what is going to be lying in wait for us in this episode as we make our way down into this area. Um, let's let's take a let's take a look with the binoculars. Uh, we'll take a look at our and uh, what we'll be dealing with. Uh, while I also will just mention a very quick and easy reminder that I record these playthroughs in advance. Um, Dark Souls three, especially uh, much further in advance than I normally would. Uh, so, like for example, when episode seven like went live on the channel, I was already at episode ten. And when this episode goes up, episode 12, I'll probably be at episode 15. So I'm I'm mostly trying to keep like three episodes ahead, which is to mitigate... Oh, Jesus Christ! To mitigate spoilers. Oh my god. Okay. So we're getting shot fireballs from, from over there. That's that's great. That's good. <laughs> that's... Uh... That's a nice little smack in the face there. Uh, I'm keeping like three episodes ahead to mitigate spoilers because they're whoop, they're pretty they're pretty rampant, um, and I think that's for the best oh, for the for the playthrough. All right, you come with me. We're going over this way. You come with me. Oh my god. Death awaits you, sir. Um, again, I'm not sure um, how we're doing for for volume, as that is always an ever-changing, ever-evolving factor of the Dark Souls 3 playthrough specifically. <laughs> Sometimes the sound effects are all over the place. Ah! Sometimes it's a it's a little too quiet, and I'm adjusting as we as we go. That is something that my uh, comment moderators are um, letting me know um, from comments. So I can at least keep uh, helpful technical tips like that um, and take them into consideration. So uh, that's why I've been trying to adjust it to get it perfect or as perfect as I can in uh, in each episode. So I, I just want to give a quick shout out and I do appreciate my comment moderators for keeping keeping me safe from spoilers. We can drop down on here to get to them, but I'm gonna go this way first because they've been they've been hard at work. There's been some very like there's been helpful tips and non-spoiler advice, which has been very much appreciated. Uh, but there's been some blatant, ooh, some like blatant flat-out spoilers that have been removed, which I. I'm very grateful that I haven't seen because like let's let's remember for those of you who were here during Dark Souls 1 is what happened to Solaire got spoiled for me and that was so disappointing because I I really want to share my blind reactions and genuine reactions with you guys and that's what this is all about you know at the end of the day oh my god at the end of the day Blind first time playthrough where I'm gonna miss things and that's gonna frustrate people. But when I do find stuff and when I find things on my own, it's very, very rewarding. It's very, very rewarding. Okay. I was wondering how these were gonna work because these look like different. These are the same, like, where. They've got the Jailer appearance, but they are wearing slightly different. It's like brighter, I think. Okay, so we've got mountains, like piles and piles of charred dead bodies, which I can only assume come from uh, these, considering the, f the, the fire that's coming from them. I assume that they've burnt all of these bodies. I'm not sure what the... Oh, God. 
Fire stuff. Fire stuff. Fire stuff. Oh! I'm not sure what the deal is with all the cups, though. I don't know what the deal is with all of the crockery. Is that a block? That is a block. He's blocking with his wing. That's... Oh! And then he can attack with his wing. That's impressive. God damn. Okay, so there's a bunch of those things. I guess they're just lying in wait to drop down at me. Yeah, I'm not sure what's with all the gold and silverware. Like, the bodies I can understand, but I don't know. It was their last meal before they were burnt to a crisp. They were given a nice pot of tea. Oh, okay. We can just... Uh, attack them from here instead. That's fine. Look at this. Look at those statues. That's amazing. So we have four, four men holding up this. Which can summon flames because it was shooting at us. We could have dropped off the bridge onto this, which is, looks like I'm going to get attacked by two gargoyles. What's the, what's the bet? Before they act, if they activate, before they activate, because I'm assuming that they will, I want to take a look at them. Look at that. Oh, uh, actually, they don't look like... They look like they're part of the environment. Like, they look pretty, like, low... Low quality, graphics-wise. So they don't think that they're enemies. But look at the... F they've got a human skull attached to them. That's wild. I'm watching you guys, just in case. I'm assuming that they're... That's one hell of a way to die. Rusted coin. I'm assuming that they look like they're part of the environment. They don't look like they're going to come alive. But who knows? There's an item at the end of a bridge. And whenever that happens, there's usually a trap or an enemy that spawns. Another? Just, just for a rusted coin. Just for a little bit of item discovery. Just for a little bit of item discovery. Huh? And no enemies. Hmm. Huh. I've been proven wrong. I was really expecting them to come alive and to wipe me out. I mean, I'm happy to be proven wrong in this scenario. It's always nice when it works out. Okay, just checking if there's anything hidden around some corners. It doesn't look like there is. I love the design of that. That looks so cool. Uh, even though there's four men, it like kind of reminds me of the whole sort of like Atlas thing, holding the world on his shoulders. Oh, there's a fog wall. Atlas holding the world on his shoulders, except there's like four men doing it instead. There's so many of you. You got a lot of... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, uh, shit. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Strategic retreat. Strategic retreat. Can he fit through the door? Probably. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's dance. He can't fit through the door. Ha <laughs> Fatty! Now it's my turn to make the Dark Souls joke. You're a fatty. You can't fit through the you can't fit through the door. Can't fit through the door. Imagine just having to stand there and watch me charge up my greatsword swing. <laughs> Unfortunately for, for you... Oh, you're guarding some chests, huh? Oh, as if I only got one! That was supposed to be a group swing. Alright, all together now. Thank you. 
All right, what are we looking at here? We're looking at a Mimic and a Mimic. Double. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. All right, what, are, what am I looking at stats-wise? Four flasks. Two of you. I only want one at a time, please. I want one at a time. And we're gonna be very patient. We're gonna be very patient. Of course you survive. Cute. Russia gold coin, that's not why I do this. That's not why I do this. Shield of Glory. Great Shield of Glory. Let's take a look. Great Shield of Glory. I think I... Have I read these yet? I have to check. I think I put away another shield that I forgot to read as well because I picked it up in the chaos of the Smoldering Lake. Uh, so we, I'm gonna go back to I'll go back to bonfire anyway because I don't have any flasks, and I'll read it. I think it was the shield of want because I remember I picked it up in the smoldering lake and I was getting absolutely eviscerated by everything that I got. I just needed to get the hell out of there. Uh, great shield adorned with flowing patterns, a celebration of an ancient glory. Boasts the highest stability of such shields, but with reduced stamina regeneration speed. Perhaps it is glory that begets ind uh, indolence. Indolence. Renowned holy knights uh, decorated with a holy symbol. Um, the knights who formed the high priestess's guard carried great shields such as these, which were granted high magic absorption through her blessing. Uh, I think we read this one because the knights say a sorig because he had the uh, he had the fume knight great sword, which was awesome. Uh, what do we got? We got four flasks. And 40k souls. The the fact that we have 40k souls is kind of like the reason why we're going to head on back to... Instead of going through here. Let me just have a look. Before heading on back. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's head back to the Shrine Bonfire so I can level up. And then... We'll run through to the, to the boss room. There you are. Hello. Because I don't have any... Yeah, I still need Titanite chunks. Don't have any of those yet. Welcome home, Very well, then take me. Um... Can only level up once. I'm gonna get some more health. Farewell, me. Unless I have... I do. <laughs> I got souls that I can cash in. Ah, how? Do I have umbral ash? Oh, I have the xanthus ashes. Right, I've got the xanthus ashes. Let's give you the xanthus ashes. Gracious, let this. I only. <laughs> All right. What did you just get with the xanthus ashes? Xanthus overcoat, gloves, and trousers. Nice. So I've got the I got the head piece from Yellowfinger Hazel, didn't I? Yellowish overcoat covering a brand of uh, band of brass medallion. Xanthus clothing is the mark of a researcher of lost sorceries, and the number of medallions denotes their success. A point of pride for the researchers, even if its significance is lost on others. Cool. Okay, so we got some Xanthus clothing with those ashes. Uh, let me sell you some souls. Uh, I only need 3,000 to level up. I think. Ooh, I think I might have to... I might have to cash in one more. Alright. I'll save the rest for later. For when I actually need to use them. 
Welks. Then hit. Oh, I could have I could have done the three fading souls, and I think that would have just given me enough. <sighs> Torn between keeping my keeping my stamina up. But let's do that. We'll continue getting a bit more health. I want to be a strong I want to be a strong healthy boy. Um, what else should I do here while I'm still here? Have I got bone dust? I do, and I've also got a shard. So let's burn, let's burn the bone shard, and let's reinforce the flask as well. Yeah. Hello, that buddy. Is good, isn't he? Oh no! And then I've got a coal as well. God, we got a bunch of stuff to give him. We got so many, we got so many items last time that I was like, oh, I'll just hold on to these. Here's my coal, sir. Profaned coal. Words. Where did you happen upon this coal? This is much too dark. I see the abyss in it. Yet, a smith I remain. I won't turn down a request. But forget not. Your fight is for the flame and for your fellow kin, just like mine. A cursed fate this may be. But hope remains, does it not? Hope remains. Hope remains. Cool. So we've got more infusion opportunities now. So we can get like blood. Pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna stay with stay with heavy. But if we do raw greatsword, look at that. A raw slab of iron. Pretty like that. <laughs> okay. Um, I think we're gonna have to do more before we can see Grey Rat again. And then I also wanted to check because I think there's a shield that I didn't read. Uh, that's in. Oh, hang on. I had it in my inventory. For some reason I thought it was a goddamn... I thought it was a great shield, so I didn't even notice. There we go. Shield of an ancient king who was cursed by an all-consuming thirst. In the end, he was no king. The residue of the king's lust still smolders within this shield, increasing the number of souls absorbed when enemies are defeated. Oh, wow. That's actually really cool. Yeah, for some reason I was like, I uh, assumed it was a great shield, so I only saw these three. That's like the, that's the, that's the funny thing about recording, recording a Let's Play is I've got literally a thousand things going through my mind <laughs> at the same time, mainly being like, I must create a good and entertaining episode as much as possible without trying to be exceptionally boring. <laughs> so when I skip over areas, um... When I end up skipping over an area. Where are those ladies? Oh, there they are, they just popped in. When I end up skipping over something uh, by mistake or uh, like rushing through an area or missing missing something or um, doing something in a particular way, it's because like the way that I'm playing is very different to how you would play normally. Because I, I'm basically, oh my god. <laughs> I'm basically playing as if we were all hanging out in a room together and we're playing the game and I'm trying to talk to you about stuff, you know? And it's like a, a making conversation. Talking talking to you guys. And sharing my thoughts with you in this game. So it's, it's a little bit different to like if I was just on my own, just staring at a screen like Zombie Face, just playing it. Like sometimes things slip my mind. It took me a long time to upgrade my sword uh, when I was facing off against Walnir, and that was like, that was just like a silly mistake of just that it slipped my mind. I was running through there being like, yeah, I'm doing pretty good damage, uh, not even realizing that I'm actually like able to, you know, reinforce my weapon heaps. And that's just, you know, that's the beauty of embarrassing myself on a playthrough is, you know, People make mistakes. <laughs> people, people make mistakes. But you know what? 
You know what? I try my best. <laughs> Let's traverse the fog. <gasps> yep! I knew it was you! Sigurd gave me that heads up. Look at you, giant boy! Oh, he's got red eyes. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's... Oh no. That's incredible damage resistance. Ah! He's embered! He's embered as well. Holy crap. <laughs> Yom! Go for the legs! Okay, what the hell? Dude, he's got a crown! Look at this throne! Storm Ruler. Oh! Okay, Yorm, I need to figure out how you work. Because... I'm doing absolutely shit damage to you. And he's doing so much to me. Um, mm. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here, who knows. Let's go, Yorm. I will do chip damage to you. Oh, my God. I don't even have enough time to think right now about how I can take this dude out. So, how Wolnir worked was if I just, if I just persisted, it destroyed like rings, but I don't think that this is going to operate in the same fashion at all, because I'm not seeing any glowy weak spots. I'm just seeing I'm doing shit damage. Like, is there is there a trick to you, sir? Is there a trick to you, sir? Because I don't know. This feel this doesn't feel right. Oh, actually, did I just do more damage? Just then? Hold on. Oh, actually. Wait. 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 Holy crap. Um, I think I hit his head before? Did I hit his head before? Because I saw that I did like 500 damage on my... He doesn't have his head down enough though for me to confirm this theory. That attack. Oh, I did 319 then. Ooh, maybe it's the arm. Okay, hang on. It might be the arm. Arm? Arm. Okay, the arm is weak. Hit the arm, baby. Hit the embered arm. Yep, okay. Maybe he's not embered then. But there's something going on with fire in this place! Because of those fire ladies. Oh, because of the fire ladies. Oh yeah, there's so much opportunity to hit that arm. And the rest of him is pretty well armoured. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Yes, buddy! Yes! Oh, God. Oh, shit. You know what? You know what, sir? You put up a good fight. Oh shit, I should have healed. I should have healed then. <laughs> we managed to smack him in the face. Oh my god, look at him. Look at him. Holy crap. <laughs> oh man. That's a cool fight. Alright, go for the arm and then it knocks him down enough where we can then repost him in right in the face. Uh, I'm going to do something is we're going to ember ourselves because I want to see what summon signs we've got. 
Um, I want to see what summon signs we've got. Outside of this fight for your... Oh god. Ember me. Oh, I literally just pressed the dodge button. Way too late. It's my it's my one weakness. That's a lie of many weaknesses. Oh shit. That was quite a drop. Alright, let me get rid of these ladies. I don't even know if they're ladies. I shouldn't assume they're just jailers. Their gender is Jailer. What does the law say about their... ...stuff again? Where's the mask? There it is. Aristocrat's mask. I guess they could be, could be men and women. The Jailers. Noblemen. They just say Noblemen. Delighted in its... Plump features, so because they're noble men. Uh, all right, let's see if we've got summon signs around here. Or are they going to be right in front of the door? Hello. I'm looking for a sign. No. It's got to be right. They wouldn't put a sign out here, would they? Near a bunch of enemies. Is that another chest? Oh shit, I forgot that there's a gargoyle that spawns. There's another chest! Oh! I can't die out here, my souls are in the goddamn boss room. Stop that. What?! Ah! Shit! There's another one! Oh no! Alright, well that's what I get for fucking around. Hmm. Well, I guess it would make sense for a summon sign to be out here. Oh man. Alright. A little bit chaotic. A little bit chaotic. Let's have a look at this uh, chest. It's hidden away over here in the dark. Is this one a mimic as well? The chain is curled around, I think. Is the chain curled around? Who knows? I think it is. Oh my god. I hate that they're doing this on purpose. Uh, Smack you. If I get killed here, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh, you survived. Of course you did. Ah, uh, you're all fuck. You're all fucking with me. I'm just trying to look for summon signs, guys. You guys can leave me alone, please. Okay, it's not a mimic. An ember. What is that? No summon sign? Can you I guess there's no no summoning allowed for for Yorm. That's odd, right? Isn't there summon signs for like every fight? Keep looking. Uh, maybe up here. Huh. 
no summon sign? Hmm. There must be, right? There must be. Apparently not. That's really, that's really strange. Because wasn't, um, because Sigurd was the one who told us about Yorm. And he was having a rest, he was heading down here. So part of me thinks that, like, he could have been a summon sign. But, there's nothing here. Maybe we should go, um, oh, there's an item up there. Let's, let's backtrack. Because I'm, I'm a bit concerned now. Let's backtrack. Because it, it's, it's odd to me that there wouldn't be a summon sign near a boss fight. So it's actually making me think that I could potentially be summoning Sigurd. Because he mentioned Yorm. But then he's not even here. Oh shit. Alright, I'm going to leave anyway. So I'm going to... Uh, you, you come over here. While we're here, let me get this item. Owner Slayer Great Bow. Oh, which was just below the, uh... That's just below the, the great arrows that we found. I love they automatically equip, because we can have up to four equipped. Large arrows used to destroy giant horned Oni in an eastern land. Made from the feathers of an aged crow, it is said that these arrows fly as straight as their master. A unique great bow handed down in an eastern land where tales are told of its use in slaying giant horned Oni. Cool. It's like a bit of, bit of Japanese uh, bit of Japanese mythos in there, which is really cool. Like with Oni and stuff. I used to be like fascinated with like the concept of Oni when I used to like be learning about Japanese culture in um, in primary school. That was really neat. Also, a really big fan of uh, traditional um, Japanese artwork and stuff as well. Big fan. So that's really that's really cool. Uh, we are going to head back up the. Oh, I may as well just homeward bone at this point, but then it's like, what's the point? <laughs> I'll climb up the ladder. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna head back to the fire. I'm gonna head back to the fire that Sigurd was chilling at to see if he's still there. Then, uh, and if not. He's potentially moved on, and maybe I need to find him, because he... I... And how do I get there? How do I get over there? Because there's a gargoyle there. Hmm. I'll need to check that out, too. Uh, but I need to... I think that must be down here somewhere. Oh, there's a whole... Yeah, there's a whole area. Maybe I need to explore... Maybe he's around here. But, um... I have, uh, I have, like, this gut feeling. I have a gut feeling. Um, that something has been, something's been missed. Here we go. There's a spot here. Something's been missed. Because it's really concerning to me that there's no summon signs there. And like I said, I've given you my reasoning as to why I think so. So let's see if my gut feeling is correct. We will see. So, Yorm. Let's wait patiently. Yorm. Especially with the way that Yorm's fight, Yorm even fights, it almost seems like um, summoning someone would be like an appropriate way to do it, even to like serve as a distraction for when he swings his thing down and then allows me to hit his arm. I'm glad we got to do the goddamn attack on his face. That was very satisfying. Yeah, there's a whole section here, too. I saw that shadow. Where are you? There you are. 
Oh, what? I would have thought that that second attack would have done more damage than that, but that's fine. Was that that dude who was here? Yes. Okay, we cannot go over there. Damn. <laughs> There's so many just uh, of these towers. I wonder why people built these places in a spot like this. Wow, look at that. What is that noise? What is that noise? God damn it, man. Stupid lizard. Waiting in a hole. What is that noise? You. Dead. That sounds like it's beneath me. <gasps> Shit! No! It's the spy! I dodge rolled! I'm such an idiot. No! It's toxic down here! I don't even think I've, I've got the good purple moss clumps. I don't even have the good ones. Oh, crap. It's not actually th doing that much damage to me. <gasps> Ooh! Curse Bite Ring. I just need to watch it. Poison Gem. Okay. Falling down here was fine. I just need to get the hell out. So close to being able to one-shot them. <laughs> oh, a purging stone. Nice. Yes, I certainly would like to re reduce my ugly appearance. Alright, we've escaped. But there's still more. Ooh, we got a door. Shriving stone. Okay, so we've got a ladder that goes up, but then there's a door here. Now, I do not have... Yeah, <laughs> I can only reduce... Cure my poison. I need to buy those better ones off of... Uh, Handmaiden. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, that's a hand monster. Unhand me. What the hell? That's a hand monster with eyes! Oh my god. It's got eyes in its belly. What the fuck is going on? Oh, that's a dis this is a disastrous creature. No wonder you're down here. Goddamn reject. Stop it. Oh, not again. Ew, it's got eyeballs in its stomach. Leonora. And poop. Great. Ew. Um. Ew. Let's quickly read that, because I'm dying. A strange weapon found among malformed inhabitants of the profaned capital. The profaned flame was triggered by the curse of these women, relatives of a certain oracle. But despite their culpability, they went on living without any cares. Feast bell. Oh my... Dude. I'm disgusted. Okay, you guys stay asleep. I'm about to... <gasps> yep. Yep. Uh, that wasn't... Okay. Shit. Leave me alone. Alone. Okay, uh, just checking. Nothing else. Okay, I'm out. See ya. Bye. Goodbye. See you later. We're going up the ladder. Ew. <laughs> Disgusting. I should have kept that door closed. 
Ah, we're out of flasks. All right, it's okay. I will desperately use a homeward bone if need be, but maybe. Can I get back safely? Can I get back safely on my own? Oh, there's an item there too. Oh no. Uh, I've got to come back. I've got to do this again. <laughs> i got to do this again. Otherwise I'm going to die. Alright, um... I have 32k souls. What is... So I actually I probably should have just gone back to the shrine because I need to buy this moss clump. I'll put on my poison bite ring because I was not expecting that. And we'll try that again. <laughs> my god. Whole new area down there with wow. disgusting hand beasts. Alright. Let me... Uh, I'll probably just do with five of those for now. Um, five of those. Wear the poison bite ring. Just says poison, but I'm hoping that that also includes toxic. Welcome, I'll speak. Very well, then take it. Farewell, Ashen One. Thank you. Alright, let's go back. Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Disgusting hand creatures that gave me an, uh, a cool looking a cool looking axe weapon. It's the Eleonora. Hold up axe and wave to emit a solemn chime to temporarily make weapons lacerating and to restore HP for each hit. That's actually really cool. Um, so after this, um, I might put those there, yeah, which means I might even just get rid of that shit and just put the homeward bone there. So I only just need these two. Now we know... See, there's also that thing. Now we know that we're about to fall into a death trap of poison. So I'll be careful not to dodge roll into that by mistake. Which was up this way, so... Yeah! So I'll fully check out this place before dropping down. Ah, this is how we get to that item. Cool. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I just bought those! <laughs> oh, that's classic. Of course. That's fine, I've got extra now. A rusted gold coin that was on the top. Alright, now we can drop down. And if I need, I can cure it. Um, I don't need to go down in that room anymore, so we're just going to go up there. This is giving me, like, uh, it's like a port, like a toxic, swampy version, almost, of, like, New Londo ruins. Like, especially, like, this area. Except with less ghosts, which is really nice! Really nice when there's less ghosts. Oh, we didn't even get poison this time. Bought all the, that's alright, I'll probably get toxic at another point in time instead. Probably will get toxic at another point. Alright, let's see if I can deal with these beasts in here. Oh, there's even stairs. This must take me to the item that I was looking at before, right? Oh! Who the- what? Whoa! Stop! Holy crap, who are you? Jesus. Oh, Logan's scroll. Who are you? Secret scroll of the profaned capital court sorcerers containing sorceries of Logan. Wow, the court sorcerers use this scroll to claim airship to Logan's legacy, though now that claim stands up to closer scrutiny is another story. Wow. 
Oh, I can drop down there to get that item. Lovely. So that was just a random sorcerer that was just chilling out here. Poison arrows, nice. Uh, he definitely took me by surprise, though. <laughs> yeah! The human-type enemies always, like, catch me off guard, because they just randomly appear, and they're always just, like... ...freaking out. Oh! This takes us back to Irithyll Dungeon. Alright, give me a sec, then. Ooh, that's interesting. This takes us back to Irithyll Dungeon. Um, I will drop down here to get this item, then. Yeah. Wrath of the Gods. Primal form of force. Create a powerful shockwave. Wrath of the Gods is an epic tale, while force is but a woefully incomplete version of that yarn. And we can go down there. Oh, that's the item. And that's a mimic. God damn it! There's mimics everywhere in this place. Oh, there's an item there. Alright. Is there just one in here? Ooh, court sorcerer stuff. Cool. This thing is disgusting, and it's... That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. You're a disappointment to your parents! Ah! Wow! I can even turn around! This thing is disgusting! In every sense of the word. There's nothing good about you! No! <laughs> Stop it! Get out of my life! All you give me is shit. Oh my god. Rubbish. Surely not just nothing in here, right? Really? Nothing? It's always random when there's sometimes there's like a whole room and you're like, what is that for? Nothing. Pointless ahead. Ah! Come on then. learned how to handle mimics better and it took me a long amount of time to do that. <laughs> These mimics operate very differently and by the way you cannot escape a mimics grab in this game. You, in Dark Souls 1 it's not a one hit kill you can escape the grab you can get get out of it. In Dark Souls 3 I will mash these buttons forever. It doesn't work. You cannot escape the grab <laughs> and it's a it's a one hit kill. Um, all right, so we've got a bunch of sorcerer stuff. So court sorcerer staff, catalyst used by the court sorcerers of the profane capital, very powerful when wielded by an exceptionally intelligent sorcerer. The court sorcerers laid claim to the legacy of the renowned Big Hat Logan, going so far as to emulate him with copies of the staff he used. And then we got clothing as well. Uh, court sorcerer. This tall, dark headpiece suggests that they may have also been oracles. They are many sorcerers who claim the airship to the great sage Big Hat Logan and the profane capital houses one of the two leading schools. Cool looking robes though, it looks awesome. There's some, there's some really beautiful, beautiful gear in this game. Like there's some gorgeous stuff in here. Everything looks so nice. Like, for those of, for everyone screaming fashion souls in this game, I can, I can see why. There's so many beautiful pieces of armor. Even dressing up as a goddamn archdeacon. I actually love the look of the Abyss Watchers. So I'm really enjoying this. I love how my, my embered cape looks as well. It's, it's really cool. Uh, I think that's this area explored, but we need to go back up now. To go back in the, back into the Irithyll dungeon, um, but from a different way. So I'm very curious about where this is, because I'm I'm planning on going back into the dungeon and re-exploring it. Because like, there's so many gates that are there's so many gates 
that are still uh, that are still closed. Maybe I can find the keys this way. Oh, this is how we get down to the bottom. Yep, this is how we get down to the bottom with the giant. Okay, cool. All of the jailers upstairs, I can hear them. <gasps> yes! Okay, good. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> ah! No! 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 Oh, I've been marked! Look at the mark on me. I didn't even notice that. You! I thought you were all upstairs. Where the hell did you even come from? Where did they come from? Is there another one? I can see the light, yeah. Where the hell did you come from? My god. Get out of here. Jesus. Um, yes! Okay, we have a key ring. Um, Irithil Irithilian Jailer's Ring. Uh, ring of the keys to the Irithil dungeon held by the Jailer opens most, most cell doors. On what grounds do they remain imprisoned, considering that by now they are mindless hollows or unrealized gibbering fools? Good. Okay, there's like quite a few... Hmm, okay, this is going to be interesting. There's quite a few uh, gates to unlock. Let's... Oh no! Oh, my health! Because my health was taken down by the st oh, My health was taken down... <laughs> by the st those stupid jailers. Okay. We're getting better and better in this, at figuring out how to navigate this area. And now I don't have to deal with those any of those places before, which is good. Let's get our souls back and drop down there. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go get our souls back. Gotta love the uh, gotta love the the commitment to the amount of work I did to be like ah yes the poison bite ring and we'll buy uh, the new moss clumps only to pick up moss clumps here and to not even really need the ring because we can just make it to the to this thing. <laughs> so much unnecessary prep work, honestly. Makes me laugh. It's all in it's all in good fun. It's pretty easy to get back to this point anyway. So we've got the jailer key, so we're gonna open up some open up some stuff, which is great. Okay, we are back. <laughs> After a brief death. Now where did these where would these jailers come from? Because they just they just appeared. Is there an invisible wall? But then they wouldn't be able to pass through the invisible wall, so that doesn't make sense. Oh, I can hear them. What? Where did you come from? They just appeared. How about that? They just appear. Crazy. Okay, now we're at full health this time, right? Yep, cool. Should be getting wrecked. Just trying to see if I can drop down on a rat. Right, I think we're good though. Nope, oh, stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Okay, hold on. Stop it. Oh. I'm trying not to attack the giant. Maybe be careful. I'm not looking to wake the beast right now. Need to be careful. Ooh! Profaned flame. Oh. That's why we lock on. Oh! Oh, shit! He's just woken up. Oh, okay. Now I've got to deal with you. I didn't want to. I was going to let you sleep. I was going to let you sleep! I was gonna let you sleep. Oh my god, the rats! Oh, he's dealing with them as well, I think. Great, so the rats are infinite. They're just coming out of that goddamn pit. I can't even see your health bar, man. Ah! Ugh. 
Now I can't see. <laughs> Stop it. Why? Why would I do that? Why would I pick up the item? Because I'm very clever. How are we doing for this health? Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, there we go. Jesus. He slept for so long that he finally, he finally rests. Ooh, Titanite Chunk. <gasps> Titanite Chunk. There's item, there's a thing in there. Talk. <gasps> My gut feeling was ringing in my head like there should be a summon sign here and considering Sigurd mentioned Yorm, I feel like it should be him. We need to go back. Oh my god. I had like alarm bells in my head. Yes! Mm. Hi! Mm. Oh my god, I need to break you out. Oh. Hey! Oh! Ooh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. This guy is getting in so much trouble all the time. But... You needn't worry. I've just been sitting here wearing my options. The moment has almost come. <laughs> I just need a bit more time. I'm literally... I have keys. I'm gonna get you out. You don't have to weigh up any options. This... this... Sigurd is so funny. He's like, oh, I seem to have fallen into a well. I've gotten tricked and I don't have any armor. Oh, I seem to have gotten stuck in this cell. Not to worry, though. My liberation requires a key. The key is outside. Oh, actually. Mm. A riddle for the ages. Can I just... Liberate. Okay, I can't just give him a key. He has, it does have a gate. All right, we need to find our way around. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Uh, I am so genuinely happy. And at least the rats have stopped spawning. I'm so pleased. All right, there's a... Okay. There's here, because we've been up on that bridge before, and I saw this area, and then with all the chaos of navigating the dungeon, I assumed that um, maybe we'd come... Ah, oh, it's a shortcut. Is it a shortcut? Yes! I assumed that we'd be we'd find our way there eventually, but when you discover so many new areas and you end up in new locations, it's so easy to forget stuff. So I'm so glad that we... Oh, so glad that we came back. What gate is this? Oh, and a bonfire too. So kind. We've been here before, so... Oh, this is... Yes, okay. This is this bonfire. So now I can run through this area and unlock all the... Yes. Alright, cool. We can unlock those areas with keys and find our way to Sigurd. This is great. Uh, good opportunity at this bonfire for me to take a quick break. And then we will pursue... Getting Sigurd out of that goddamn jail cell. Holy crap. And then we'll unlock these other doors. And then he might be and I, I heavily, heavily confident that he would be a summoning sign. Because there's no other summoning sign around there. And there's, there, there has to be. So I actually think we'll do that. We'll summon him for the for the fight. That would be, be so much fun. I hope that he is. Because that was my gut feeling. And it's paying off so far. So we're going to follow that one to the ends of the earth. So uh, yeah. Quick break. Then we, let's rescue this guy. Alright, let's go. Let's go rescue Sigurd. Let's go figure out where this boy is. Let's figure out how to get this boy back. How does he keep stumbling into these, into these problems? How does he keep stumbling into these problems? The tiny, the tiny fool. Alright, you get out of here. I'm gonna leave you guys alone. Nope, you came for me. I was going to leave you alone. Okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh my god, is this going to be a mimic as well? <gasps> it's... Oh, it's a mimic. Dude, oh my god, there's just so many of them. Can they chill, please? Like, my god. <laughs> they need to stop. <laughs> Dragon Slayer Lightning Arrow, cool. I miss when chests were opened, not killed. 
<laughs> God damn it. Um, arrows. Let's have a look. Large spear-like arrows enveloped in lightning created by the giant blacksmith of the gods. Can only be used with great bows. Lightning has been a weapon of dragon slayers ever since the, f the time of Gwyn, the first lord. Lightning arrows. That's awesome. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, up the ladder we go. I'm coming, baby boy! I'm gonna break you out. I think one of my favorite things about the whole Sigmeyer, Siegwood character in general is uh, how he... Uh, I think it's 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 very funny uh, that he gets lost in thought and he ponders things and he does his whole hmm hmm and I've been I've been doing that in uh, in my playthroughs since before I even started playing Dark Souls one and I just I find that very funny that I just like he's certainly one of my favorite characters especially from how you can see how I like if you've been here since Dark Souls 1 and you saw how attached I got to him as a character, then I just think it's absolutely great that um, I've gotten to have have some more magic with another with another Katarina Knight. And just like, I just feel like I relate. <laughs> I just feel like I relate to the to the character a lot. I also fall into some to some very um, oh, we're here. OK, I also fall into some very unfortunate situations, you know? So I, I know what that's I know what that's like. Okay, so that's here. Can I make that jump? Oh, it doesn't. Mm. And this isn't also where it, I thought it would go. All right, let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, cool. Lightning bolt, nice. This is not where I thought that I would be right now. Okay. Hmm. How do? Oh, hang on. Ooh. We drop down onto this platform. Okay. Oh, no, wait. Have I been here before? Yes, because that's where the giant was sleeping. Hmm. Okay. Maybe... Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Bolts imbued with lightning. These bolts never used crossbows. The gods never used crossbows. These bolts are like the artifacts of the dragonless era when the pact between gods and humans was upheld. Um, okay, this takes us down... Here, where there's this guy. Finally killing him. Oh, yes, a chunk. Oh, that reminds me. That does remind me. I need to be reinforcing this, because we've got chunks now. Um, we came out of here. Uh, Secret is down there. Hmm... Um, I feel like this key is going. I feel like this key is going to be very useful in figuring out where I need to be. And maybe I should. Maybe I should backtrack. See that ladder? Yeah, I know where that's going to take us. Maybe I should backtrack even further. We gotta get him. We gotta get him out. Um, okay. First things first. In that case, is I'm gonna homeward bone out of here to the shrine. Uh, I'm gonna reinforce my sword. Um, reinforce my sword. We haven't seen Cirrus appear here in a while. Maybe we should have summoned Cirrus into a fight, but I'm kind of wanting to go through most of my fights solo. I think this next fight, uh, I think this next fight, if it's Sigurd, is going to be the exception to that rule. There we go. Uh, we need four more chunks now. God damn, four more chunks. Pretty, I go. <laughs> Actually, can I level up? Welcome, very then taken. No, unless I can cash in one of these. 
Just one. Just a, just a cheeky one. Farewell, Ashen One. Thank you so much. Okay, maybe what might be a good idea is to start off back here at the Irithu dungeon, work my way through those key those doors that I know are locked, and they might lead to somewhere else. Um Otherwise, it's going to be around that area, and I just need to look a little harder. It could even be similar to how we managed to get the, uh... With finding those illusory walls around, like, Demon, Ru Demon Ruins, Old King's Antechamber area. Uh, so we could, um... Get a particular item. Don't scream at me. Okay, that's fine. It's not a corpse that's going to scream. Rusted gold coin. That's fine. You. Die now, please. Ooh, we actually got the... We got the weapon. We got the smoldering iron. Look at that. Soldering iron. Branding iron used by Jailer's prowling Erethil dungeon. Press its searing tip against foes to inflict fire damage and temporarily block Estus healing. Oh, wow. So did I, I must have had my Estus healing blocked then. Huh. When I, when I had that mark on me. That's very interesting. Oh my god. They attack so quick. They attack so quickly! No! Oh no, I can still, I can still Estus heal. But that was a waste because my health is being drained of me right now. Okay. Um, let's remember where locked gates are. There's one down here, downstairs. So many masks. Oh, I almost made that same mistake and didn't heal again. That's the one thing that I always forget is like my health is being drained and I'm like, oh, my health. And that is probably the negative, that's the negative side effect of having my HUD be automatic. <laughs> that's when it disappears, I'm like, where's my health? Prisoner Chief's Ashes, cool. Oh, we need to give our Logan Scroll to Sorcerer Man as well. Umbral Ash of the Prisoner Chief of the Catacombs. With this, the Shrine Handmaid print new items. The Prisoner Chief used his clout to hoard all manner of things, but died without putting them to use. He's a bad hoarder. Okay. Alright. Um. There was definitely... There was definitely another... At least one other. Why did he kick just... Oh, shit. Four twenty damage. Oh, that that was stronger than I thought. Get off of me! I will not be maggoted. I will not be maggoted by you. Oh, what another one? All right, let's have a look. Maybe over the other side, there's there must be another one. So we've opened two with the jailer key. One gave us ashes, so that's cool, but that's not a clue as to how to get to Seagood. There might be, is there, a, there might be a locked gate down the bottom as well, potentially. <laughs> Let's check over this side. Oh. I missed. Okay, leave me alone. Uh, this has the thing, yeah, ugh. But no locked gate. Okay, 
no locked gate. Let's head down this way. Where does this take us? To a room with a bunch of these. Oh. No. Oh, I hit it on my back swing. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Stressful. Give me my health back, please. Oh, my God. Um. Oh! I forgot that there was one of those in there, so that's why I, was, I didn't heal, because I was still waiting for my full health to come back. <laughs> Damn it. Alright. Um, I don't think I'm going to find my answers to Seagwood up here. I need to be back down. Um, there must be something else. There must be something else that I can do. And we are going to find that answer together. Oh! Shit, 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 shit. Nope. I re respectfully deny your request to solder me, please. Okay. Now let's be more aware of our surroundings. There's one of you in here. Into the wall you go. Um. Ah, that was a shortcut gate. Oh no. These things. I'm convinced these things are like almost the same type of uh, creature as those like boreal knights, like the one that we fought that was guarding uh, Irithil, uh guarding Road of Sacrifices. Like I'm almost convinced. Okay, um, maybe not. All right, I'm gonna head back down to the rat area. It's very important that we locate this boy and make him and get him to be safe and sound. Just need to actually remember where I've been in this dungeon. Uh, uh, where's the lever? There you are. Pull the lever! Oh, I remember where this is. I remember this ladder. This is probably not going to be really where I want to be at all. So this takes us back out on this ledge. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's not where we want to be, though. Oh, actually, maybe it is. And I, I can get a rematch against the stupid mimic that's here, too. Now, I think there might be a gate. Is there a gate that's locked here or not? Maybe not. Oh. Oh, shoot. That was close and dumb of me. <clears throat> um, it's open. Hey, by the way, my... Uh, okay. There we go. Um, I'll come back for you later, Mimic. No, all these gates are open. Hmm. There's a gargoyle that's going to try and fight me here, isn't it? Where does he drop down from? I don't know where you even come from. I'm going to avoid you. I need to approach this from a different from a different spot. 
Look at that guy. He sucks. Sigurd, my boy, we're coming. Going back to the Irithyll dungeon, and we're just going to go left. I mean, right. Depending on the direction of which we spawn. How do we spawn? Right. Uh, I'm just going to go back down here. My answers lie down the bottom, I feel. Maybe, potentially... Oh my god. That was lucky. <laughs> I'm like, resting my controller, and I'm like, oh, I accidentally pressed R1. Not the worst time to press it. Um... I almost did it again, because I thought I was two-handing, so I was meant to block, <laughs> and I did a punch. Chaotic lift ride, where I died almost twice. Alright. I'm just trying to think about this, because Sigurd... I have the keys. Can I just throw them through the gate? Let's figure out how to get to you, okay? My liver, the king. Hmm. Uh, let's have a look. There's the gate right there. There's an item in there, so we obviously have to be able to get in. Let's crawl through the the rat's tunnel. Oh, leave me alone. Is this an, is a, we haven't been on that level yet. Hang on. There's this level of the jail, which we have not... Oh no, hang on, we have been in there. We have been there. Mm hmm. But I don't know... Really trying to show all of my exploration here so we can figure this one out together. I'm really, like, wondering if it, there would be an illusory wall that would lead me here. Because this just takes me to a rooftop. Like, this seems like it would be... Let's continue. See if I missed anything. the very long ladder. Mm. Yeah, is there anywhere I can... Because that's just dropping down on there. Which is nothing terribly exciting. Going that way won't have the answer I need. Oh god. Stop it, hammer hammer people. Drop down here before. Okay, but that's not because that's just here. How do we get to this dude? Because this just takes us to the rat area. I'm so done with killing rats. Secret's there. There's a pathway there. It's not the pathway to go there. And there's a pathway down there, but that did not take us where we thought we'd be. Because that just takes us to the bonfire. I'm gonna have to. Maybe I have to go 
back from... I might have to go back from the bonfire in the profaned capital. Maybe go back through there. There might be a ladder that can take me down. Or something. Once I find it, I'm going to be so happy. Alright, we're going to try again. Because in the profaned capital... Entering from that way is the closest we've gotten to him, I think. Um, so I need to take... We need to take another look around this way. Because we ended up in the place where we got the the jailer keys and there are those jailers and they're like above the cell so we need to see if we can get down from there that's the current train of thought so we'll take we'll take another look around this area and see now okay. I need ugh! I just need to think about placement. Like where, where am I in can, in what's the word that I'm looking for? Where am I in comparison to he is? So if we go up here, if we go up here, um, and we go up here. This is where I where I was talking about before. So this is this area where there's jailers here that just appear out of nowhere come on where are they yeah they are look at that how weird so we are above we are above Seagwood And we get the keys here. So we're, we're, we're close to him around this area. There's the window. So if we go down here, around this area is where we're kind of on the same level as him. On like the same level as him, being like around, around here. That drops us down into a thing. Ooh. Window. Oh god, okay. Window? Yes, window! Okay. We have we're onto something. We are onto something. Window. Maybe. <gasps> Switch action. Oh, we can talk to him from outside. My liber the hmm. Buddy. Oh, that was the old cell key, not the jailer's key. As well. Hang on, do we still have that in our inventory? What was the description of this one again? The oldest cell in all of Irithil Dungeon. The first prisoner of the dungeon was a lone giant. Cells for men were built at his feet. Right, we've had that. We got that key last time. Buddy, you have been saved. Nice. The gold serpent ring as well. Hello. Oh. You are a saint. Yeah. Once again, you are my valiant savior. Yeah, I am. I, Zygvard of Katarina, express my deepest gratitude. Take this. A token of my thanks. Go on. A toast. It's all yours. Oh, nice. Tight, nice slab. I've my own road to take. And a duty to fulfill. Very soon. A duty to fulfill. Ah, no, please. Go on ahead. I've my own road to take. And a duty to fulfill. Very soon. A duty to fulfill. Is he talking about Yorm? We freed him! Is he talking about Yorm? Because that's what he was talking about when we were in the, uh... Oh, shit. Oh god, okay, that's okay. That's what we were talking about when we were in the... In Irithil. When he was in front of the fire. Uh, now to see... Now to see if we have payoff. Uh, so we're going to... Homeward Bone. Uh, we will ember ourselves up. Uh, 
we will ember ourselves up. And let's see if he's got a summon sign. So we can get this boy into a fight with us. That'd be so cool. So weird how my cloak just kind of like levitates. Alright. Um, let's do this thing. Oh. Time my drops with the fireballs so I don't get hit. <laughs> okay. We're so close. So glad these ones don't have soldering irons. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, let's look for. Nice. Handmaid's dagger. Um, uh, uh, Handmaid's dagger. First one. Dagger used by handmaids of the profaned capital. It is said that these women. Ah! Oh, these are handmaids. So that these the jailers are noblemen. And these what the fire ones are handmaids, so they're the women. There you go. So when I I did correctly guess that one. It is said that these women took pleasure in wounding others. Ah, actually, didn't we get a weapon? Um we got Storm Roller. A great sword with a broken blade. We got this in we ran into the room with Yorm and we got this. So great sword with a broken blade, also known as the Giant Slayer for the residual strength of Storm that brings giants to their knees. Um <clears throat> Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to the humans who doubted him, and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. Storm King. Assume stance to imbue sword with Storm, most effective when facing giants. Can I wield that? I can, but it is not very strong. Storm King. The Giant Slayer. So he once had two of them. He gave one to the humans who doubted him. So I'm assuming that's the one that we just... Well, we just picked up this one? And then he left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. That's super interesting. Alright. Um, summon sign. Summon sign. Maybe it's in the corridor? What? No? Is my gut feeling wrong? I mean, oh, it actually, I, I guess it's funny because, like, the gut feeling worked out in a sense that I got to go back to an area that I hadn't checked out yet, <laughs> and I actually found something that was very nice, but at the same time, uh, it was for a different reason. <laughs> it was for a different reason. No summon sign? Hmm. Can't think of a reason why there would be no summons for this fight. That's really interesting. Hey, yeah. Don't fireball me. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to double check up here once again. Just in case the summon sign is further back. Hmm. I guess we should just fight Yorn then. Grateful that I went back and followed my gut feeling that I was like, maybe I've got to do something. So I was like, this so ties into, like Sigurd was talking about Yorm. But there's no, there's no summon sign. So that is a shame. But 31k souls. It's easy enough to run back to this area and to pick up the souls if I die in this fight. That'll be fine. Nine flasks. No no summons. Let's smack this boy's let's smack this boy's arm. What? Why is it playing a cutscene now? What? Yom, old friend. He's got the Storm Ruler! I, Siegfried of the Knights of Katarina, 
have come to uphold my promise. Oh my god! Let the sun shine upon this lord of cinder. Oh my god! He's a mandatory fu- He's- Okay, there's no summon sign because he's mandatory! Oh my god! What?! He's storm stancing! <gasps> we can actually damage him! Oh my god! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit! He's on fire? Sigurd! Oh my god! <laughs> this is the coolest shit! Whoa! Oh my god! Jolly cooperation! Oh my god. Don't hit him! Hit me! No, 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 hit me. Hit me! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Attack me! Yes, that's right, bitch. Go for me. I'm the one you want. Oh my god. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Oh, there we go. Oh, I could have done the repost. Quick. Get around the... Get around the... Oh, I missed my chance. It took too long. Oh, it took way too long to get around the sword to do the final attack. <laughs> Buddy! Cinders of a lord and soul of Yorm the giant. And he sits down. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the coolest thing! Oh my god. Dude, how epic was his entrance? Me, the the Ashen One, the main character of the story, walking in ready to face down this giant. Step aside, it is I, Sigurd of Katarina. Old friend. He has the he has the other storm ruler. That's why we couldn't get his uh that's why when I I was like earlier when I we were talking to, with like the whole patches thing. And I was like, oh we we can't get we can get a shield in his armor, but there's no weapon. It seems I am in your debt once again. My thanks. I could have not kept my promise without you. Now, for a final toast. A final toast. To your valor and my old friend Yorm. Long may the sun shine. <laughs> Oh my god. Ah. Oh. This is nice. You and me, sitting next to a pile of burnt corpses, sharing a toast. You and me, buddy. Oh man. <laughs> I love this I love this character so much. I love I love the Katarina Knight so much. I don't even need to drink it, but we will we will drink it in your honor at this time, performing a toast. I drink my Siegbro and I toast you, sir. Well, oh, man. I'm going to have myself a little nap. The only thing to do really after a nice toast. <laughs> you are a true friend. <laughs> Best of luck with your duty. Oh, that was the most rewarding thing. I'm so happy that I followed my gut and went, there should be a summon sign here. And even though at the end there was not even a summon sign, we got rewarded with a badass cutscene. Wow. Sigurd uh, and Yorm were friends. Oh my god. Um, let's read some stuff. Cinders of a lord left by Yorm the Giant. If the lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. Love, uh, lonely Yorm became a lord of cinder to put the profaned flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as lord were quite insincere. And then we have the soul of Yorm the Giant as well. 
Ah, uh, that's the wrong one. Where are we? Yorm the Giant, one of the Twisted Souls, steeped in strength. Yorm is the descendant of an ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a weighty blade and a stone-hard shield. And uh, what's interesting is in the opening cutscene, where it mentions Yorm, I thought Yorm was a giant from Dark Souls 2. Uh, that is not the case. He's got a face. Like, he's got the red eyes. He's wearing a hood. So, it's, like, when I first saw him in the cutscene, I thought that it was, like, one of those giant faces, but it's but it's not. Um, so there you go. Um, a different type of giant, but a big boy nonetheless. And seeing that, like, the Storm Roller thing, like, brought it, like, bringing him down. I wish we could have finished him with that cool... Like finishing move, but his sword was too long. We weren't we weren't quick enough. But that was uh, that was spectacular. And yeah, the storm ruler. So he gave one to a dear friend. They used to be friends. That's such an interesting dynamic. And he called us a friend. Well, I'm going to have my the only thing to do. You are a true friend. Oh, okay, let's go light the let's go light the bonfire. Oh. Light the bonfire. There's the throne. Is he gonna be okay then? He's just gonna sit here and chill and have a nap in this place. I guess he'll be fine. Um, that's so nice. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god. Alright, now we can actually look at the... Only a storm can fell a great wood. Ooh. That's an interesting dialogue. Look at that! This throne is so wild. Now I can actually... Why did I just get souls? This throne is... Um... This throne is so interesting. Being like... Lifted up by... See, this is more of like the stuff that I was talking about with like the fire thing. But all of the burnt bodies, giant legs, throne... Fit for a, a giant. And we can't... Get through. We can't get through, but we'll... Teleport. What the fuck? Uh, is this what he meant by final nap? <laughs> oh my god. It's okay because he was meant to go. He was meant to go. He fulfilled his duty and his promise. Okay, uh, we got to... The, okay, we completed a quest line. Oh, why can't Katarina Knights be happy, man? Why can't they ha live, like... <laughs> uh, why can't they live happy ever after? They can't. They need to die in battle. Sigmire and Sigurd. Uh, we got armor. <sighs> this is so bittersweet. This is, this is so bittersweet. <sighs> now we have both storm rollers. Can we dual wield storm rollers now? We can dual wield storm roller. <laughs> I am... I am the jewel wielding storm wield. Storm wielder knight. Oh, I'm so sad. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. All right, we got a pier shield. We have two pier shields and um, a thing. There it is. That's so cool. So he was able to do, like, some really cool ability with it. Give me, give me a moment. <laughs> give me, I'll be, I'll be back. I've got to cry about this stupid night. Okay, I have regained my composure. I have, uh, regained my composure. And we can, um, we can go back to what we were. Go back to what we were doing. Um... We have defeated, uh, we have defeated our second 
uh, Lord of Cinder, which is actually amazing. Um, like the amount of time in between Abyss Watchers. Um, the amount of time in between Abyss Watchers and Yorm was, was really interesting to me. Uh, like there's just like, and that's something that I actually really like and appreciate about this this game is while you do need to get the four big boys to proceed with the game, you know, to get to the finish line, you fight a bunch of bosses, but you need the four big bosses kind of um, repeated, uh, repetition from previous games is um, this game, it, it spaces it out like so much more. At least it feels like that. I don't know if that's necessarily the case. It just feels like that this time. Um, but let's go. Uh, let's go back to Firelink Shrine. In a in a perfect world, Sigurd would have returned to the Firelink Shrine. It's nice and cozy here. He could have had some Sieg brew on his own. I need to stop talking about it, otherwise I'm going to cry again. <laughs> um, let's Welcome level up. Uh, actually, Farewell, let's give uh, the handmaid ah. the ashes. Gracious, let I only. <laughs> so the prison chief wears. I guess we get like small stuff like this. Maybe it's maybe it's some more armor. Ooh, hang on. Carla. This is new. Carla's pointed hat. Hat of the Dark Witch Carla. A pointed hat is the signature of a heretical sorceress. Carla, however, always kept it close. The stained coat is torn and odorous, telling of a long journey and even longer imprisonment. It would be madness to wear such a thing. Ah, oh, so this would have been one of the item. This would be like an item that the prisoner chief had. St torn and odorous. Carla pissed her pants. Okay. Cool. Uh, I have a spell thing for you, sir. I've got a scroll. Back again. I suppose this means you're after sorceries. Yes, it does, you emo. I've got Logan's scroll for you. Oh my. You've made quite the discovery. This is a scroll of the prodigious Big Hat Logan. A masterful sorcerer. Long missed in Minheim. And now we have a scroll. Right here in my very hands. Hmm. I don't mean to seem overbearing. In exchange for my sorceries in the form of scrolls, I hope you'll... Uh, what did we get from you? Farrenhouse, I think. Stuff like this. Pestilent Mist, Cast Light. Sometimes it's hard to remember the ones that we have unlocked, but I think it was like stuff like this. So yeah, sorcery developed by Big Hat Logan. This sorcery may offer a clue as to what Logan sought, but further investigation suggests its attraction to living things mirrors the nature of the dark. Well, he was all into, like, Seath stuff. That's why he went, essentially, went into the archives, and that's, like, where he stayed. Sorcery developed by Big Hat Logan. And it's testament to Logan's strength in battle. Okay. Come again. Come again. Uh, do I have anything else while I'm here? Obviously, we're going to level up with Andre. Oh, no, we can't. We've got a slab. I need four chunks, don't I? I need... It'd be nice if I could buy chunks, but I don't think we can buy chunks from anyone. Beep. Uh, is Grey Rat back? No. Grey Rat's not back. That is quite neat. Can't you... Um... I wish he would sell stuff. Pretty, I don't know. Handmaid only sells Titanite. Uh, just like normal Titanite shards. Um, 
Let's talk to Yuria. But she might just have the same dialogue about goddamn Anor Londo, which Speak is wild. Desire. Honorable. Ah, greetings. Good tidings. The time yep. to go. So the fucking me. The Dark Moon Chamber. God damn it, Yuria. Um who else we got? This boy is here. Now invade and land if come on. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's have a look with Lodlith about the souls that we've gotten. And then we need to put Yorm's ashes on the throne. Okay, uh, let's have a look. Yorm's great machete. Yorm once lumbered on the front lines with a great shield, but one day, in place of his shield, a left hand notch was added to his machete, enabling the smashing technique that would become the legacy of his later years. And Yorm's great shield, which he doesn't even wield, which is interesting. As a lord, Yorm risked everything and fought unflinchingly as a one-man vanguard. Following the loss of the one he wished to protect, he forsook his shield. Oh, that's why he doesn't. That's why he doesn't have it. <gasps> cool. Okay. Interesting. Now, now. I also remembered that we picked up a pyromancy ages ago, didn't we? Profaned flame. The profaned capital was consumed by fire after Yorm the giant became a lord of Cinder. The fire, born of the sky, is said to have incinerated naught but human flesh. So all the humans in the capital burned uh, once Yorm became a lord, I guess. Let's put his. Um, I totally went the long way around, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> Let's put his ashes on. On you go. Beep. Nice. Um, I wonder if Ludleth has anything to say about the second one that we've now returned. Let's have a look. Do you have an update, sir? Aha, so. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say... Lord Slayer. This is the same. Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by the... Oh, in fact... Yeah, he said that before. Uh, he said that before, so that's okay. Uh, maybe I'll check on... our upstairs butthole. He's still squatting. He do still be. He do still be squatting. Hello. <laughs> I wish I could still talk to him while we're squatting. Oh, hello. Can't resist. Wait just a couple. <laughs> okay. He doesn't sell any titanite. Can't. Can't find anything you like. No, can't. Okay, um, I think, in this case, where we are currently up to is going past Pontiff Sullivan. You walk past him, and that should take us to a new area. Ah, oh, man, that should take us to a new area. So Grey Rat is looting Irithyll somewhere. Um, ooh, actually, before we proceed through the big doors, I think there is an item that I need to get here that I haven't got yet. Uh, I can get it by dropping down here, can't I? All right, you need to die. Oh man, please, I just want the item. I just want the item. I just want the item. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Okay, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. That's all I came here for. It's all I came here for. Stop it. Stop that.
<laughs> Probably could have just taken the lift, but I panicked. Um, okay, we've got that ring. I remembered that was there. Let's read that. Let's read that ring. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. That was a risky, risky move. Greatly boost miracles. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn who inherited the Light of Gwyn, the First Lord. The Sun's Firstborn was once a god of war until he was stripped of his stature as punishment for his foolishness. No wonder his very name has slipped from the annals of history. Uh, and this is, yeah, this one's very interesting because uh, uh, Guinevere and Gwendolyn, the other two, and the Firstborn is unknown but was once a god of war. That's very cool. Uh, I could probably take off my... Uh, I'm, I'm going to take off my Poison Bite ring, because I've had that on for far too long. I've been so distracted by everything else. Uh, and I'll probably do Gold Serpent ring for additional item discovery. Havel's ring is still necessary. I think we're going to take off the Life ring. I've had the Life ring on for way too long as well. I, I honestly... <laughs> Um, like I put it on and then I, I'm like oh yeah this is fine and I, I literally just forget about it I forget about my rings sometimes um, I can only get I can only do three attacks with that so I don't know if that's going to I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the best out of that maybe oh, rolling invisibility at the cost of defense is a bit painful Maybe... Maybe I might just stick Estus Ring back on and replace the Life Ring for now. For now. Um, oh, I've got 69k souls. I forgot to level up. <laughs> Oops, as soon as I saw it. This is the thing. And I, I mentioned this earlier. I said, this is the thing. When my HUD has disappeared, all of the information that is usually readily available to me for the... I sacrifice it for, for the beautiful... Uh, vistas, but then I forget crucial information like my health Welcome and my souls. I am here to level up, please. I would like to put some more points into strength. And then I need to... I'm going to consume my souls. So I'm going to consume some of these. Only one, I think, I need to. Welcome. Yes. Um. Oh no, I'm just shy. Hang on. I'm just shy of a level up. Hold on, I'm gonna sell some stuff to you. Back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> um. What can I sell you? Ah, oh, I've got two that are eight hundred. Perfect. Perfect. Welcome. Very well, then take me. Uh, this time... Maybe some more stamina. It's either just to keep pushing with... just to be as strong as possible. Or just get some stamina in there. Farewell, I've made a food. The stronger I am, the quicker I kill my foes, and therefore I don't even need the stamina. <laughs> That's a joke. I need stamina. Stamina is very important. Okay, let's at least see. Let's at least see what is beyond Pontius Sullivan. This has been a door that we've left open for a while as we went and explored down Irithil Dungeon instead. Which was so rewarding. Like, that was so cool. Bit of a headache. <laughs> oh, okay. Bit of a... No! Bit of a headache, but we got there. Oh. <laughs> I just missed. Alright, we got one. I'll get the other one another time. They, they refresh when you rest at a bonfire, anyway. Okay, interesting. We get a nice, lovely view of that. Oh, uh, hang on. Staircase that goes up and around, maybe? 
At this point, like so many large Titanite shards, at this point I would really be loving it if it was just giving me Titanite chunks instead. Like, we're beyond large Titanite shards game, please. Please. I request... I request chunks. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. What the hell happened here? Oh, hang on. Are they all alive? I'm hearing noises. No, maybe one's alive? That's definitely, you're definitely dead. I heard a fire thing. Oh. Oh, hang on. Who's this? I'm hearing fire. Ooh. There's two of them. And maybe there's another one. If there's this, anything, this fire. Oh. Hello. There you are. <laughs> Hello! They're wearing, um... Are they wearing the Drang Knight uh, outfit? They got, like, the, the the one with, like, the fur coat, right? The Drang armor. Drang Lake. Drang Lake. Okay, well, before we go straight ahead... More of these things. Great. Yeah. Before we go straight in. Ah, oh, okay. Strong attacks only. Stop that. Before we go straight ahead, we will explore dark stone plate. Ooh, dark dark damage absorption. Dark damage absorption is pretty cool. Oh, crap. <laughs> There's a few of them. Hello. Oh, I just ate that one. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Oh, God. They survived. Oh, he got big. How'd you do that? Did he get big or was he already big? Ooh. Ooh, a deacon skirt. Hang on. Ooh. We could be... Oh, because we're heading to what I think is the abandoned cathedral that they keep mentioning in all of the stuff we've been reading. Um, oh, because there's... What did we read? There's the Archdeacon that we've killed. There's the Archdeacon that was apparently guarding or chilling out with Rosaria. And then there was a third one. Uh, where can we get that lore piece? It might be on the robes. One of three old archdeacons. One stood over Aldrich's casket. Oh, the other one was guarding Aldrich, right. Oh, so this might be... This might be the Aldrich fight. So this might be our third... This might be our third lord. Oh, we're above. Oh. 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 We're above... Good... That's a nice shortcut. Alright, we're above Pontiff Sullivan's shortcut. That is cool. I do like that. Oh wow, it's even got the same, like, Anor Londo leather. Dark Souls 1. Oh my god, are you a mimic? Oh my god, dude. I miss when chests were chests. <laughs> oh, you're actually strong as well. Oh. Yeah, game. Okay. Oh, the kick.
My god. Golden Ritual Spear. Golden Ritual Spear. A ritual Spear presented to Dark Moon Knights before Sullivan claimed the title of Pontiff. Can also be used as a staff. Sorcerers cast using this weapon channel the Wielder's Faith. Steady chance skill. Nice. Ah, oh, I forgot to kill the Mimic in the... Mm, I forgot to kill that Mimic in uh, Erythil Dungeon. We'll add that one to our backlog list when we when I explore previous areas. I'll go back and we'll see what item it gives us. So I'll try and remember. We can go up here to go to the other side. Ah, you. I might. Simple chunk. Titanite chunk, please! Titanite chunk, please! That's all I want. I need four of the goddamn things. Otherwise, I'm stuck. Alright, back out here. Shortcut to a bonfire, that's nice. Even though we can pretty much just like walk straight out there anyway. You got that. Uh, it's just there again, apparently. Yeah! Oh god. Okay, so there's small ones and then there's the bigger ones. Bigger ones take two hits. Of course. Wait, you were just standing there the whole time? Okay. So curious about what's over, like that thing over there. Before we take on these, uh, drink. Oh, no! Oh, for f ah! no! Okay, there's nothing even here. Oh, for God's sake! Oh no! Look at this bullshit. They're like, hey, guys, remember Anor Londo? <laughs> remember the Anor Londo archers? I still wish my white white branch giant friend was still alive and he'd uh he'd help me out right now. <laughs> he'd shoot from wherever he is. You. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's dual wielding spears. Oh god. What he's dual wielding hammers! What are those? Oh. Oh he cancelled. I was just about to get the attack off. Holy crap, dude. Okay. Yes! Get you out of here. Ugh. Drang Twin Spears. Only one of them gave me items. Drang, and it, yeah, they are Drang. Uh, Drang Twin Spears, paired spears of the Drang Knights, proclaimed descendants from the land known for the legend of linking the fire. When the Drang Knights disbanded, they scattered across the land as cell swords. They quickly became known for shieldless aggressive tactics, struck fear in the hearts of men. Drang Twin Spears. Oh, yep, you're the one that's awake. Yep, hi. I could hear you breathing. You're a loud snorer. You need to work on that one. Shard, give me a chunk. Surely. Ooh, hang on. There's another one that's still awake. I'm here, still hearing the. Uh, still hearing the snoring. 
large titanite shard. Wonderful. Making sure that we have the area all mapped out and explored. Sweet. <laughs> Look in every nook and cranny. Alright. Into Cathedral? One of these days, I'm going to run up to a random wall. And it'll just be an illusory wall, and it'll be perfect. <laughs> Today is not one of those days. Oh man, we're going to have to navigate this whole area with, uh... With that stupid archer. Titanite scale. Close, but no cigar. I need... Chunk. Alright, where is this? Oh, there you are. I see you. I see you there. Oh, this! Oh, oh no! Oh, this! This is. Oh my god! Why? I like. I actually genuinely. I genuinely don't like this. That they were like, haha, haha. Anor Londo archers go brr. Like, I hate that this is a thing. Like they were bullshit the first time. They're bullshit this time. I'm so stupid. Why did I dodge? First death to the Anor Londo Archers, and it was completely... Uh, it was completely self-inflicted. So that's good. That's, that's fine. Alright, we're at this bonfire. <laughs> okay. Um, first bit, little piece of advice is do not dodge roll backwards. Tighten a chunk. Oh my God. Do not dodge roll backwards. Completely unnecessary when taking on archers. Maybe dodge forward? Well, don't dodge at all. My first thought was, ah, oh, there's going to be arrows coming right at me, so I need to get out of there. Ooh, the giant respawns. Oh, I thought that was an item. Oh, it's you, okay. And, okay. It's alright, I'll move on. I'll move on. Not, not needed. So, two sleeping giants that actually respawn. Interesting. my souls up there. I need to lure this archer around the corner, like, to get him to pull out his, uh... Oh! That was not supposed to happen. Okay. Now, if I can get him to follow me... Oh! God, the camera! Jesus! Camera, enemy number one. Why do you switch the arrow from there, are you? Okay. Tighten up. Shards! Okay. Three arrows does the trick. Oh, this is so much nicer, though. This is... These these archers are at least so much better. You can actually get up here. For a change. Oh. They just wanted to remind you of the trauma. Oh, wait, I thought it was... Where are you? Where the hell is it? Oh, you're there. Okay. Oh my god. Knights everywhere. Okay, I don't want to not get too far ahead of myself here and get lost in the confusion of archers, so just give me a sec. Because I know that there's a platform that we can drop down on again, item. Also have a staircase. Oh no, that's the platform with the item. Good. 
Easterner's Ashes. I'm so glad that these archers are not awful. My god. Umbral Ash of an Armor Merchant. Ooh. Umbral Ash of an Armor Merchant from an Eastern Land. Surely the Handmaid of Filing Shrine can turn this into a few new things. The Merchant, the captain of a clan of hunters. I was fascinated with weaponry. Oh, yes! Um... I was thinking of someone else from Dark Souls 2 initially, but no, this is um, from Dark Souls 1. This is the... Who's part of the cat... Per, the You know, you guys know who I'm talking about. Uh, mm, forgot their name. And as soon as I would hear their name, I would be instantly remembered. Maybe when we turn in the ash, we'll actually get, like, armor or weapon that will name the character. But it was the... The one... Who had the invisible sneaky friend with the cat covenant... Uh, in the in the in Darkwood Forest, that's that's about as much as I can tell you that I remember. <laughs> okay, uh, that's our way back. Okay, I can now go down this way. Is there a way down here? Okay, let's just deal with this. This is our way down. Oh! You thought you were slick. Shards, man. Okay. They are channeling Anor Londo so hard in Irithyll, it's insane. So much so that I would go, oh wow, this is like amazing because it's uh, it's like they're, you know, giving like a slight nod to Anolondo, but then unfortunately, Yuria has ruined the surprise by saying that uh, Arnri is in the hidden dark moon chamber in Anolondo, so we know that that's like a future location as well. Oh my god, Spear Boy. I've come, f I've come far since I've, oh, lightning spear. I've come far since I first encountered you spear bitches. Get out of here. Off you go. Goodbye. Oh, hang on. We can go that way or we can go this way. There are the deacons. Large shards. Oh, there's an item there. Now this is what I'm, I'm curious about. I can drop down to get that item, I think. But then... Can I get back? Where? Oh, I know where that is. So I'd have to drop down and then go back up around again. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. And then we'll go that way. How much health have I got? I should be able to survive this. That's fine. Ah, oh, nice. We actually got the Dragon Slayer stuff. Great bow used by the Dragon Slayers during the Age of Gods, far greater in size than any normal bow and far more devastating. The bow must be anchored to the ground when fired, a time-consuming operation that leaves the user vulnerable. Only specialized great arrows can be fired from the bow. I guess we'll check the arrows out as well. Created by the giant blacksmith. My favorite, my favorite giant blacksmith. Used by dragon hunters during the Age of the Gods. Age of the Gods, huh? So is that what the time period of Dark Souls 1 is, is has been constantly referred to as then? Is the... The time of the... like the Age of the Gods? Which is very interesting. Alright. Better to do it before we've rested at a bonfire or something so there's no archers to bother us on our way up now. Genuinely very grateful for the archers in this one. At least they are, they were they were respectful. <laughs> the two in Dark Souls one that pinch you is very hard. Now we're gonna go down this way. We can either go in there, which takes us into the big room, and I'm thinking the big room is you know where all of the 
when it, something's gonna go down because it's the big room but this oh this will be that gate yeah this will be that gate that was closed cool shortcut okay which is the shortcut to the bonfire to the Pontiff Sullivan bonfire and now we'll go into that room I like to think we've been pretty thorough this episode. Probably not with illusory walls. Probably missed, like, you know, as per usual. Still missed a lot. But I like to think... That we've done... Like, pretty well for ourselves. All things considered. Like, I managed to I managed to do and complete Seagood's questline. Which makes me so happy. And so sad at the same time, because he died. Alright, what does this do? But he fulfilled his... Is Irithyll an Orlando? Or is this just, they're just recreating an Orlando intentionally to, th like, throw us for a loop? Because I was like, we're going to pull this lever. Is, is a bridge going to come out? Not only does a bridge, I thought maybe it could be like a drawbridge extending from this. It's the same thing. And then... This, in Dark Souls 1, a chamber like this is the exact same layout. It's the exact same layout as the Dark Moon Chamber in Anor Londo. There's a bonfire here, and there's a statue of Lord Gwyn here, and you proceed down here, and this is where the Gwyndolin fight happens. Oh! Okay. So we can go up there. Oh, this is... This is... I, I think Irithyll, it's like it's been a long time. But then it's confusing that Yuria would say in the Dark Moon Chamber of Anor Londo specifically and not say like in like a Dark Moon Chamber of, um, a Dark Moon Chamber of Irithyll. Or say in a, I, I, it's so confusing. But look, this is a Londorian. This is the Dark Moon Chamber. If Irithyll is not Anor Londo, be thoroughly confused because they, it's they are they are echoing it so hard, it's so intentional that it's either like a like a almost like a sister city uh, castle area, or Anor Londo has been renamed. Irithyll over the ages, because this is a complete map of uh, the Dark Moon Chamber, which is fascinating. Welcome, our gracious lord. Your spouse awaits you. You are very near. Please take the sword of a vow. May you be the truest lord. Of Londor yet. Sword of a vowel. Your spouse may. Um. Irithil is Anor Londo, and this is the Dark Moon Chamber. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, you just gave me a sword. You just gave me a sword, didn't you? Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh. 
This is like the, this is. I did this in Dark Souls too. We were given a key, uh, like a, a sword, and I was like, "Oh, where is it? It's not in my weapon inventory." And it was a key. Right of wedlock gives birth to a true Hollow Lord. What? Ceremonial sword of Londor cannot be equipped as a weapon. It is said that a right of wedlock will presage a true Hollow Lord. Your spouse's name is Anri, who patiently awaits a rightful Lord deep within the mausoleum. Does she, though? Because we've encountered her multiple times. And she said nothing about this. She was just her and Horace on an adventure. But she's here. Your spouse's name is Henri. And it makes sense that she would be waiting in this chamber in Anor Londo because we saw her in the church before, so she was already here. So I was like, oh, we're going to go to Anor Londo and find her. Because Yuria said so. Oh, wow. Because I guess... I guess this makes sense. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm like the law is ticking in my brain. Is because we know that Anor Londo in Dark Souls One was an illusion by Gwendolyn, who had Guinevere being, you know, hey, look, it's all nice and sunny here, uh, but she left with uh, the Flame God Flan, right? Uh, flame God, or like something God Flan. So they left, uh, and then as soon if you destroy that illusion, Anor Londo goes dark. And now this is like, it's dark and cold and Irithyll has the giant moon and it's all moonlight. Oh my God. It's all just sitting there right in front of you. Oh, <laughs> and that's the fire keeper's armor, dude. Cause after you defeat Gwendolyn, oh my God. After you defeat Gwendolyn, the fire keeper attacks you. And you can also get the armor. Armor of a knight once known as the Dark Moon. It is said that this brass armor hides something hideous within. Something about its silhouette suggests femininity. This game is a joy. Like, this game is an absolute joy. Armor of a knight once known as the Dark Moon. Wow. That's the fight. That's the Anor Londo Firekeeper's armor. Uh, apparently I'm getting married. Uh, it's not really the location that I would have chosen. It's a bit dreary. I do suppose I am dressed for the occasion, but I look a... It, it's a little bit... What? Hang on. <gasps> no! Oh no, Henri was killed. So that's why, because it's been arranged, like Yuri was saying that, oh no. So that's why. Because I was like, it, do it doesn't feel like it would make sense for Henri to just be chilling here being like, my love, and we're going to be sp spouse. Um... I'm a bit confused. Um, right of a vowel. What happens now? What is this? What's happening to me? Th three dark sigil. Oh, why'd you have to put it in her face? Why'd you have to do her like that? Why can't you just done it like at least in the chest or something? Why the face? Three dark. What happened? Oh, oh. I look, I look mighty fucked up. Hang on, let me take my helmet off. 
Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Why do I look like I just like dunked my head in a diarrhea toilet? It looks like I just straight up dunked my head in the toilet. This is not the face of the man you want to marry. I got more dark sigil from that. We have eight. We just got even more cursed. Firekeeper! I'm, I need to go run back to my firekeeper mom. <laughs> firekeeper mom! I accidentally played around with the darkness too much and I'm... I'm... I look fucked. And I'm married to a dead woman and I, st I stabbed her in the face with a sword. I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Did I get tricked? That, that is the standard trope of Dark Souls is uh, getting uh, getting goddamn, goddamn tricked all the time. Teabag. <laughs> Why? Okay, let's talk. I demand answers. I need to talk to this person that's outside. Tell me what the hell just happened. And then let's go talk to Yuria. Oh, what the fuck? What? Chameleon? Why are you dead now? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Why Why do the, those Londor people just... They exist purely to just fall to the ground and die. Hmm. Alright, we're going up here while I'm still in this area, but I need to go back to the Firelink Shrine before this is all over so I can question Yuria as to why I've got three more Dark Sigil and I'm not married. That's a, That was an awful wedding. Like, I don't even get a honeymoon. I get a dark moon. <laughs> That's a good joke, man. Sorry, I, I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes. That's lame. But I mean, come on. Ooh, there's a bonfire. I mean, it's good. You don't, you don't get a honeymoon, you get a dark moon. Alright, let's push this guy. Where do we end up now? Because dark moon was at the bottom, and if we go up here, this takes us to where we fight off against Ornstein and Smo, and then beyond there is, uh, oh my god, it really is. Yep. Wow. Wow, okay, it really is, which means... Dude! Wow! So, in Dark Souls 1, Anor Londo was the highest point. And now stuff has been built even higher above. Lothric is now the highest point. Uh, I believe... Well, that might be Duke's Archives, then. Or is that Duke's Archives? I think, uh, location-wise, even though it's not in exactly the same spot... Oh, no, hang on. Or is that the Duke's Archives? The Duke's Archives is, was around here somewhere. That is fantastic. So that means original Dark Souls 1 area is, like, all the way down there over time, and we are now in Anor- wow, oh, this is fascinating, we're now in- because look at that, that's Anor Londo. How do we get to that bonfire though, that's like the question, because it's like a whole tower. How do we get into that tower to get to that bonfire? I think... Oh, that's the church. Okay, that's the church where we saw Arnry before. Hmm. Um. This is so insane. This is so insane. All right, let's let's just push up this way. Cool. There is a bonfire. Oh, bro. 
<laughs> it's still called that. It's still called Anolondo. Oh my dear lord. It's Anolondo. And Irithyll of the Boreal Valley is what's located beneath it. Holy crap. This is a this is insane. Okay. Uh Yuria! Something happened. What the fuck happened? Uh hello. Ah, our Lord and Liege. I presume my holy vows are sworn. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Now thou art the true and deserving Lord of Hollows. With the spouse, the strength to claim the fire is thine. Thy lordship, I prithee wrest the fire from its mantle. I, Uria, and all Londor embrace thy impending lordship. Um... I was kind of hoping if I was to get married that my wife would be alive. Oh Lord and Liege, I prithee play the usurper. When the moment cometh to link the fire, wrest it from its mantle. Oh. The Age of Fire was founded by the old gods, sustained by the linking of the fire. But the gods are no more, and the all-powerful fire deserveth a new heir. Our Lord of Hollows, it shall be who weareth the true face of mankind. I think that Yuria is like the Age of Dark ending. And the Firekeeper is the Age of Fire ending. And we've never done the darkness ending on our first playthrough before. This is fascinating. I've just goddamn stumbled into this one. Got married. I'm going to wrest the fire from its mantle. Just because this lady told me so. Goddamn. Oh lord, I went the other car. She wants to Please be say. the usurper. Oh lord. Yeah, but what if I don't want to? What if I just uh, get my firekeeper to cure the dark sigil? Hey, welcome home, speak. Heal the dark sigil, please. Ashen one. So I'm Ashen one. I'm actually, I'm actually curious to see this through now. Then Tuckhaken. We've done this. We've done, like, we've gone this far that I am genuinely curious to try and see it through at this point because it could be very interesting. Uh, instead of just derailing it right away with like, you know, being like, oh, I'll just heal the sigil. We will, I guess we'll see it through. <laughs> and then I'll do maybe the intended way. I don't even know what's intended. It seems it's like, I just ran into doing it that way. Ah. So, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll, uh, maybe next time on a replay, I'll do, I will not pursue that storyline. I don't even know. Is there a way to? Is there a way for Henri to survive? Because she loses Horace. Horace went hollow. We had to kill him. That's sad. Gracious, passing. Let this ash be stone nourishment. I only hope. The... <laughs> okay, what have you got for me now? Ooh. Hmm. God damn it! Large time shard. Hopefully there'll be an ash that'll give us a chunk at one point. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yes, here we go. The Eastern Helm. Can, can you name drop for me? Uh, distinctive helm made in an Eastern land. The exquisite craftsmanship and artistic design made by these prize pieces in the collection of any nobleman offers excellent damage absorption, particularly from slashing attacks from katanas, which are commonly encountered threats in battles fought in the East. Cool. So we got the armor of that guy whose name I cannot remember, but that's very cool. Awesome. Uh, with that one, guys, we're going to bring this episode to a close. We're going to bring this episode to a close. Um, this was a huge... This, was, this episode was huge, honestly. 
uh, going through Irithyll in the way that we did, Profaned Capital, Yorm and Sigwood reuniting and him fulfilling his promise um, was uh, very impactful. I'm so glad that I uh, went back um, to look in some previous areas because that really, um, that was really worth it. Um, so that was good. Gut feeling really goddamn helped me out today when I was like, summon sign, where are you? This is strange. Putting those links together and, you know, paying it, like, while there are moments where I really don't, I, I miss things and I don't pay attention at points and you can see they'll, like, rush through a room and there'll be a pathway off to somewhere. And, like, there are things that I miss, but there's a lot that I don't. There's a lot that I do see and notice and, and put together. And I am constantly thinking about these things all, all the time while trying to uh, provide really good uh, content in an episode to you guys. So guys, I genuinely from the bottom of my heart, really hope that you have enjoyed uh, this episode. I'm so grateful for all of you that are here uh, supporting me and enjoying the playthrough. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic. And I think at, at this point, I can definitely say confidently that Dark Souls 3 is my favorite. <laughs> uh, and I don't even know, like there's still so much more to go. Um, but this has been such a fantastic adventure so far. Very rewarding. Um, I'm I'm very I'm very happy. I can't wait to dive into Anor Londo. Uh, this is this is so wild. Um, so again, I will be continuing the journey next time where I uh, maybe Aldrich, maybe Aldrich is chilling out here now. Who knows what could be through those doors? And I can't wait to to find out. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode of Dark Souls Three.